In this tutorial for Midas Civil, I will show you how to model this cable state bridge and how to perform all kind of analysis on it. Cable state bridge are structural systems which are composed of cables, main girders and towers. This bridge has a beautiful appearance and easily fits in the surrounding environment. And cable state bridge are structures that require high degree of technology for both design and construction and hence demand sophisticated structural analysis and design techniques when compared with other types of conventional bridges. In addition to static analysis for dead and live loads, a dynamic analysis must, must also be performed to determine eigenvalues. Also moving load, earthquake load and wind load analysis are essentially required for designing a cable state bridge. To determine the cable pre-stress force that are introduced at the time of cable installation, the initial equilibrium state of the dead load and the final stage must be determined first. Then construction stage analysis according to the construction sequence is performed. So in this tutorial I will explain you how to model this cable state bridge how to calculate the initial cable press stress forces and how to perform the construction stages analysis and review the output data. So I will do this tutorial in two main parts. One part this week about the modeling of the bridge and the calculation of the press stress in the cables. And next week I will talk about the construction stage analysis of this bridge. Let's look first at the bridge dimensions. So this is the bridge model that I will use in this tutorial. And actually it is a simplified model because it is just for the purpose to explain how to uh, model a cable state bridge. Uh, then the bridge type is a three span continuous cable state bridge, self encored The bridge length is um, 420 meter divided in three main uh, spans. The bridge width is composed of two lanes and the total width is 15.6 meter. Now let's close this uh, model and open a new project and we will begin the modeling from the beginning. So the first thing we'll have to define are the material properties. So to do that, go in the material property tab and add a new material. So if you um, watch this table, you, s you saw that we can have, uh, we have to add five different materials. One for the cable, the girder, the pillin, the C-beam girder and the C-beam pillin. And these are the coefficients I will use. So we'll first create the cable material, enter the name of the material, cable. We'll choose user defined material and we will define manually all the coefficients for this material. So here the module of elasticity which is 1.9613 power 8, the Poisson's ratio 0.3 and the weight density. These are the three main uh, coefficients we need to fill in the material and click on apply to add it to your material properties. Now let's do the same for all uh, the four remaining materials. The girder 1.9613 Okay, apply the pillin two point seven eight seven zero point two and twenty three point fifty six apply. 
the C-beam girder one point ninety six so it's the same property than uh, the girder and the C beam pillar two point seventy eight power eight zero point two and twenty three point fifty six and click on add now we'll add some section which are corresponding to these uh, materials so click on add click on the value tab and we'll enter the section properties so in this section property table you have all the properties to fill uh, for the sections so for the first one call it cable um, don't forget to check these two options built up section and consider the shear deformation for the section we'll choose solid rectangle and uh, the area will be 0 0.0052 now click on OK to add this element. Now we'll do the same for all uh, the different elements. So I used the wrong name, so uh, I'll, it is the CBIM villain, so we'll just change, use the modify option to uh, call it girder. Okay, and I just have to do it again for the last one. <coughs> 